Today's itinerant episode finds Roger Ramjet about to take a long-awaited but ill-deserved vacation. Well, it sure will feel good to take a few days off. I'm going to Bermuda to get debriefed, and on my way, I plan to stop in Rifle Bowl, Kentucky, for the annual Bloodhound Breeders Convention. They want me to throw out the first scent. Well, folks, I'm very happy to be here for the Bloodhound Breeders Convention. Wait! I'm Roger Ramjet! Hold your fire! I could get hurt, and I'm on my own time. Hey, Carl Bob, he's a funny looking one, ain't he? No. I hate your abdomen. Why don't you ever agree with me? Unhand me, you bearded barbarians. What's the meaning of this? I'm in town to throw out the first scent. You're sure doing that, all right. <laughs> yeah, move downwind a step, would you kindly? Now, uh, see here, what's all this shooting about? Feud. Feud? Feud. It's them rotten Martins. They're off learning a pig with the itch or a hound. Them Martins is a bunch of dingbats. Ain't not neither dingbats, you ill-smelling skunk. <laughs> now see what it is we've been putting up with. Come on, Billy Dwayne. By Godfrey Daniel, that means irritation. What's that thing running with the coys? He's that space hero what landed in that there space plane. Think his name is Roger Rimshot. That's Ramjet. <laughs> Don't correct your elders. Now listen to me. If a coys got them a space hero, we're gonna have to get one too, or we'll be the laughing stock of the hills. Who are we gonna get us another one of them things? We ain't a getting another one. We're a getting that one. We'll capture up Roger Ramrat from the coys. We gotta stay ahead in the space hero race. Meanwhile, Roger Ramjet and the Coys had reached the mountain hideout, unaware of the kidnap plot being hatched by the Martins. Now that we're up here, Pa, what are we gonna do with Roger Rumpot? That's Ramjet. Fetch him to me and I'll show you. We got us a dual purple space hero. He's a scarecrow and a forward observer. Now, wait a minute. Don't I have anything to say about this? No! no. And so, disguised as a scarecrow in a cornfield, and waiting for the coys to make their first move, was our hero, Roger Rimjet. Oh, that's Ramjet. Oh, sorry. This is a terrible way to begin a vacation. Maybe if I can talk to the Martins and the coys together, I can put an end to this feuding forever. And they'll let me be on my way. And at that precise moment, Roger was to get his chance, because the clever coys were all around him, disguised as corn stalks. What's this? Hmm. Aggressive little stalk, aren't you? Nope. It's the Martins. Come here, coys. Gentlemen, let me say just one thing. Now, you've been feuding for years, and it's silly. You've got to learn to live together in harmony. Where's that? Just east to resume speed on Route 4. Ooh. There's no reason for this feud. I want you to learn to live like grown-ups. Ramjet, we appreciate what you're trying to do. We appreciate it. Yeah, we appreciate it. I knew you'd understand if I could just But if we you. wasn't a feudin... Why, we wouldn't know what to do with ourselves. We like feudin', don't we, Coys? Even if you are dumber than a possum with a waxy ear. Who you calling dumb, you miserable revenuer? And so Roger Amjet bids goodbye to lovely Rifle Ball, Kentucky. Well, I guess those people won't soon forget Rammer Jetram, a uh, Ripper Rack Rock, uh, Roger Ram Ram Ram, uh, uh... Roger Ramjet! When Ramjet takes a proton pill, the crooks begin to worry. They can't escape their awful fate from proton's mighty fury. Roger Ramjet, he's our man, hero of our nation. 
for his adventures. Just be sure and stay tuned to the station. So come and join us, all you kids, for lots of fun and laughter. As Roger Ramjet and his men get all the crooks they're after. Roger Ramjet, he's our man, hero of our nation. For his adventures, just be sure and stay tuned to the station. <laughs>